Well, we've got an hour to go. I'm not sure, but uh, I guess we can see. And if that isn't Lynn Urban. Lynn. Hi, Sarah. Good to see you here at the Little House cast reunion party. I'm in line waiting for my autographs for some of the cast members, Nellie being one of them. Good to see you. Hope to see you in Brooklyn. Okay, it looks like people are too busy standing in line to come over here yet, but there's booths for the Family Fun Fest, and it looks like they've got food. They have, ooh, Out of the Blue, that's a very good book. A um, bunch of book tables. Unusual for a place like this. Bubble tea, wow. And this must be the gift shop. Yes. Yes. We are the museum in the park. <laughs> I could tell from the stuff. Yep. I did my part to have the sea of orange today. Yes, good. It's kind of the theme of orange. place for bonnets. All right, having looked around, I think what I'm going to do is get me some bubble tea and then head over to the museum uh, because there's only half an hour left for signing time and that line's going to take longer than half an hour. Bubble tea at one of the booths here at the cast reunion. And here's the third location on the museum grounds and I'm sure they've cut it off here too. That's why it's so short. And they had talked about the uh, Light Up event earlier this June where people dedicated lights in people's honor. And these are them going all the way around the compound. Hi, Linda Starbuck from Walnut Grove gift shop ready with my list for my granddaughters to buy their trip, their treats, and uh, so happy to be here. Um, Susan Gettle in Walnut Grove from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, just made purchases from the little house, from the gift shop. guess who tripped over basically her own feet outside the museum and had made a big fuss and uh, scraped my face up but uh, hopefully I don't think it's anything too bad and and we'll uh, get underway again. Well, hmm, wasn't that exciting. Coming out of the museum I managed to trip over one of the parking things you know you pull up to fell and 
fell flat on my face. Luckily, I didn't break my glasses. That would have been lovely as I'm here by myself. Uh, but I did manage to scratch the heck up out of my face, and then it bled through, and then it bled through again. So we've got fun, 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 and hopefully I think it'll stop bleeding soon, but it's just enough to be in a nuisance. So two shirts later, here I am, and hopefully things will work out. You're going to be putting out a DVD of the reunion, and so uh, they're working on, that's what they're filming right over there right now. What are they filming? We're Lynn and Martin from Bolton, which is near Manchester in England, and we came here especially for the, this trip to see um, the Laura Ingalls pageant. We're really excited to be here and looking forward to meeting all the actors, and we're finding everyone's really friendly and well grown, and we're having a fantastic time, and we don't want to go home. And this is what I mean about Little House people being nice. Uh, they were not supposed to be back till 4 o'clock, and it is now just after 3.30, and they're back signing. Of course, there's a pretty decent line. And remember, this is just one of three around town. Walnut Grove is full to the gills today. He's, a, he's one of those people that the camera loves. She's too kind. She's too loves. Kind. I mean, it takes like 15 years off of him. His hair goes This down. is the Walnut Grove Community Center. It's right uh, behind the museum, underneath the water tower. And they have, oh, there's the sign, pageant suppers here on the evening, starting at 4.30 and going to 7.30. I highly recommend coming and meeting here. But during the day on events, Community center is open for bathrooms, so yes, flushing toilets. There we go. Different service groups serve the pageant suppers. This is their major fundraiser for the year. Tonight's is done by the firefighters, and even though they weren't supposed to start till 4 30 because of the huge crowd, they let it's 6 15 and the crowds are already rushing in. Here at the pageant, they park the cars in rows named after the characters from the books. So I'm parked in Laura. And they've added a photo op wagon out here too. I'm back in the hotel room at the end of the day. <laughs> when I was out walking, I fell down and uh, I was walking around like this only with a gauze on my chin all day. So you will forgive me and I don't have more than I do because that kind of disrupted my plans. But I'm not hurt. My glasses didn't break. I didn't break any teeth. So it could have been worse. Uh, I stuck it out. Um, I w went and got things autographed, I did all sorts of things. I stuck through the cast answers to the reunion, which were, I'm sorry I didn't, wasn't allowed to tape any of it because they um, are actually trying to put together a DVD. So hopefully there will be a DVD available for it because they really did a great job. Usually when it's just actors talking, not the producers or the writers, there'll be a lot of times where they won't know the answer. And they did a great job of either people ask questions of things that they would know or they ask them things that um, they had theories about. So it really was very interesting and I hope they do it. I didn't stay for the pageant. <sighs> But I'll see you tomorrow night. I'll see you to Smets on Sunday night. In the meantime, I'm going to get scrubbed up. Thankfully, this thing on my chin finally quit bleeding. Be careful when you're out in prairie land.